you can head out and then now back out here you can head down and you can use your gust jar to clear out some of that spiky dust if you want and then head down and you'll see a little it looks really suspicious right there um but you just want to bomb the little area in between there and it will then open up a cave for you to go in and there'll be some red chews here and ugh, I accidentally used a bomb again I guess that killed two of the chews but um well I might as well just show you this um where to get bombs if you ever run out I'll show you that in just a second like I said before um it um if you kill the enemies then they don't reappear so you can head all the way to the left here go in here and there'll be a business scrub he'll be selling ten bombs and you should have enough rupees for it and they'll give you um, ten bombs for thirty rupees you should have thirty rupees if not you need to find something if you run out of bombs Otherwise, just, um, you didn't have to do that right there. That was, that's just, um, if you ever run out of bombs while you're here, then you need to, um, go there. And now you'll see this rock looking thing, and that, um, is another portal to the Minish world, just like tree stumps or things like that. You can use those, and there'll be a little shortcut scene here. Just showing you getting small. Um, you'll see the rock there. Um, obviously, you want to bomb that, and then um, after it's gone, then you can turn small and you can go through the little passageway up there. You want to get out your bottle before you head through there. And um, there'll be some of these little bugs, I guess. And you can head up from there. Um, there'll be rocks falling, too. I don't really know where they come from, but I guess they're tiny pebbles because you're small. But anyways, when you get up here... Um, this is why you wanted to have your bottle out because you want to get some of this fresh spring water and that's why we didn't get a fairy earlier because we needed this so anyways um, make sure you don't equip it just in case you accidentally use it because then you'll have to come all the way back here and it's kind of annoying so we'll be using that later on you can grow big again and then go out the way you came or jump down the side whichever is easier and now we want to go through that one cave that I went in earlier but since I cleared out most of the enemies they won't be there now um, same way I did last time just use the mushrooms It'll be now you can go upstairs and there will be these new enemies which have masks on them. Use the gust jar to pull their masks off and uh, as Lo told me exactly what I was trying to do. Anyways, um, just suck their masks up and then kill what's left. Um, one thing that you can do also is that if you keep sucking after their mask comes up you'll suck them in too. So, um, it's just something to think about. And pots won't work on them if they have their mask on. So just clear out the enemies in this room and then head down on the other side. Now back out here, Ezlo is um, going to talk to you about those whirlwinds 
and he says if you jump into him, you'll be able to fly with him. Um, yeah, red chew also if you want to kill it. But jump into the vortex, and you'll use as low as like a little parachute thing. Head over to the other vortex, and then um, go on the higher up ledge. From here, we're going to be heading all the way up to the top and over. Um, you can kill these tektites if you want to. Otherwise, just keep heading up and you'll be at a new area called Mount Crennel. And you'll see another one of these suspicious rock looking things. You can bomb it, head through it. And now we're going to need three bombs. So place them all in those little cracked blocks. You can get piece of heart number six now. And then you can open the treasure chest for a, king's, a kinstone piece. And then um, 50 rupees. So uh, three really nice little gifts here. Um, the heart piece was what we mainly went for, but the kinstone piece will be used later, and the rupees are just another bonus. Now you can head down and up the ladder here. You're going to want to clear out all this dust, and now we're going to use our Mount Crenel water. Um, you can see that green bean over there, and you'll also see um, a little hole where you can climb in. So you want to head down there, and you'll reveal a rock. You can shrink down if you would like, or well, shrink down, and then the the dust things come back. Um, you can hop down the hole to get a another kinstone beast, and you can talk to him, and he'll tell you about krennel beans, and they'll he says these are the green ones and they can only be grown with hot krennel spring water so that's why we got it before now we're gonna go to that passageway through there and there'll be some enemies here you can kill them if you'd like doesn't really matter um... these ones get kind of annoying i think but anyways just keep heading up and you'll see a krennel bean so pick it up and then walk all the way back down you won't be able to go underneath the twigs this time so you gotta go around them come out here and you can throw the krennel bean into the hole there make sure you don't fall into the hole either and then you wanna turn big you can pour your hot krennel water on the bean up there and then you will open a new um, passageway to get to Mount Krennel. So if you go up there you will then not be in Mount Krennel base but Mount Krennel. 